Hi, it's Michael Farr from Farr, Miller and Washington. It's been an interesting week. After the Fed's big meeting last week, markets didn't take it so kindly and they traded off on the news that this would be the last Fed intervention coming up next month for $15 billion of Fed purchases. And yet we heard that the next round of rate hikes is still probably a long time away. We had a few down days. We've seen several down days in a row, including the early part of this week. Today, on Wednesday, we have a nice rally. We have a rally for a couple of different reasons. Economic data on new home sales was very positive this morning. Also, we saw the Euro and the Euro Central Bank indicate that they might be adding more stimulus. And if those, if those of you who've been listening to us for a while know that we think that central banks really have been driving markets around the world, once again, European markets are up on the promise of central bank stimulus and U.S. markets are following right along. So those markets are up, the dollar is up, and the dollar has been getting stronger. Bonds are down, which means yields are rising. Um, and with a strong dollar, the U.S. is receiving dollars from around the world. We're, we're, we're importing monies and currencies. Um, and you're getting a decent return for your money right now at 2.55% on the 10-year Treasury. The 10-year German Treasury bond, we call the Bundesbond, uh, is paying 1% right now. Japan, 10-year uh, Treasury, if you will, paying about a half a percent. So an attractive yield in an attractive market in a recovering economy except we've seen a decline of course in existing home sales we saw a decline in mortgage applications continuing this kind of theme we've been talking about things are getting better but they're not great economically things are moving ahead more slowly i'm going to write about the stronger dollar this week if you want to read our market commentary it's free you can subscribe markets are still trading near all-time highs be very careful about your investment decisions. Remember that markets go down. They go down. This one hasn't for a while. How did you feel Monday and Tuesday and last Friday as things started to drop and we were seeing 100 point down days? Kind of a shock, right? So we're, we're back today, but I think we have some more of these down days in our future. Markets go down, normal and fine. Stick with your strategy and don't become emotional about your investments. If you need a little help, need a little courage, or just a little hand-holding, give us a call at Farm Miller and Washington. For Farm Miller and Washington, I'm Michael Farr.